Hey guys, welcome back to the Dixon Way. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Uh, recently, I've been working on a lot of tool storage ideas. Um, my small little home workshop is about 300 square feet, so it doesn't lend um, a lot of room to have things out like this scroll saw here or the miter saw down below it. So I had to come up with a couple of ideas on how to get those out of the way, get them off the workbench, hang them on the wall. Uh, in this workshop, I do woodworking, I do welding, I do blacksmithing. I do all my stupid little projects and all the honeydew list things that uh, mama can come up with. So um, everything kind of has to be in this area. I keep some stuff in the garden shed, but for the most part, this is my main workspace. So that's not what this is about. This is actually about an idea that I saw and I can't remember where I saw it, but it was to put your bench grinder away. And I used to have my bench grinder on a dedicated stand against the wall, but I found it was just it's just in the way and I don't use it. I use it every day, but I don't use it very often. So if I'm out working in the garage and I'm working on a project, I should be able to just flip it out, work, use it, and then put it away when I'm done. And that way, if I'm out there doing some woodworking or whatever else, it's out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. That's what this is about. We're going to build one of these. I thank you for coming out today. We'll flip this around and get right after it. Okay, so here's what we're going to need for this. Obviously, we're going to need a bench grinder. We're going to need the mount that the bench grinder was on, or we need to cut one and drill some holes in it so that we have some mounting points. A couple bolts to bolt that bench grinder onto that. And we are going to need a barn door hinge. Now, you can get these that are double like that. Um, this one does. This one suits me best to have the square side on it because my 4x4 four four underneath my bench is perfect to mount that to. Okay, so this is how this is going to go down. This hinge is going to screw up underneath my bench. And now that I know what distance I need, my bench grinder is going to sit on top of here. It's going to be bolted down. So now I'm just going to take this because everything is nice and tight. I'm going to mark this off. Okay, and then I'm going to bend it on that mark. So I'm going to bend this over here and then we're going to weld that on. Okay, so because this is an exacting science here, I marked the center line of my mount that I'm going to use. And then because this hole's drilled here, once I set everything up against here, as long as I get that line in the middle or middle-ish of that hole, I know I'm going to be fairly centered. I want this to be just on, just flush on the edge of my workbench. So I'm just going to slide this over here and then I can see the line in that hole so I know that I'm right around middle. So now we'll just give this a quick little tack on here and then we'll take it back over to the welding bench and we'll finish welding it up because I don't want to burn this. Okay, so that's going to be the base right there. Uh, you can see I welded the bolts on, on the top side of it. And then I just flipped it over and I just ground the heads off. Because this needs to sit, this needs to sit flat on the workbench. Alright, let's go install this thing.
All right, now we want to make sure that we have enough room for that to swing by. There we go. Throw some screws in. Okay, I'm gonna try and show this as best as I can. It's it's hard because it's tight under here, but um, up underneath here I've got two eyelets and I've just got a couple of S hooks that I built and tied onto some paracord. And that just hangs down like that. Flip a bench grinder up. Where you go. Now I don't have this wired in yet because I have to drop a uh, power bar down here yet because this bench now is in basically in the middle of the shop it's closer to my door but when you go to put this away flip it back around tuck it underneath grab your cord or strap whatever you decide hook it up and there you go now it's nice and clean so one more time just so you can see how smooth it is lift this up a little bit and do your cord Flip your bench grinder up. Now you can use it. Yes, you have to be careful. Everybody's going to bitch about that. I know they are. Well, you're going to turn that on accidentally and you're going to grind your fingers off. Well, yeah. It's always possible, but you're responsible for your own safety around power tools. Nice and easy. All right, so that's one organizational thing that um, I've decided that I needed to do in here and I'll probably do it to a couple more bench grinders that I've got so hopefully you got something out of that give it a try if you like very simple project to do if you liked it give us one of these if you didn't give us one of those but thanks for coming out today